Hey guys, welcome back. It's Melody. I want to first of all say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. We're going to dive into this video because I had a revelation as I was coming into this new apartment. I realized there was one system that was completely out of control and I was going to get a handle on it and that is paper. Paper is once you get this sorted, it's the best feeling in the entire world. But if you're anything like me, it's like all the paper scattered to the ends of the earth. Well, all the way around in this house. And I decided to go to container store and sort it once and for all. Get a system that works. It'll work for everybody. First thing that you want to do when you're organizing paper is is to pick a container that is going to suit the job. And for me, that kind of container is going to be one with a smooth glide. That's the most important thing in your paper container. I don't need a big filing cabinet because I would rather scan everything as much as possible. The wonderful thing about it is that it's waterproof. So if a flood or anything happens, you don't need to worry about it. The papers are still gonna be nice and dry. So that's just an extra perk. That's not what I'm looking for because I'm so high up, I don't think my house is gonna flood. As you guys know, I live in an apartment in the sky. So it will take a lot for the floods to get into here, but but it's good for, it's just that extra just in case. The first thing that I did was I went ahead and grabbed one pack of folders. I grabbed one pack because I scanned in every possible extra I scan in every possible extra piece of paper. My goal was to basically take as little paper clutter with me as possible because there's a lot less to sort through and honest to goodness, even with the best of my intentions, clipping magazine clippings for ideas, I almost never refer back to them. Usually if I don't pin it on Pinterest, I'm never gonna see it again. So the way to do that is to get a portable scanner like this. It's a color scanner. It, it's so small, it's like a brick size. It scans really good quality and you just plug it in. It's so easy. I've had the scanner for years and years, so that's absolutely essential, is that you get a mini scanner. If you're gonna scan in photographs, it's better if you send them out or if you go ahead and get one of the, I'll link it down below, but it's a slide scanner so that you get a really good high quality. This is an, a photograph scanner. It's an information scanner. And you can also have a couple of pins as well. It's pretty much endless what you can do with this. So I really recommend getting this first because once, once you've gathered all your paper into one area, you want to eliminate as much as possible. And then what you'll be left with is only the things that are very, very important or that you really like looking at. And so I found this at Container Store. Check out this glide. That is the smoothest glide of all time for me. That's very important because I'm, I'm keeping everything in this container, including stationary, but we're gonna get into some of the categories of ideas of things that you can put in here that will really change your life. The very first category of papers that I keep in here is all of my stationery, and I really like having the stationery in the front because the stationery is just so beautiful. I mean, that's the purpose of stationery is that it, it's beautiful, it brightens someone's day, it encourages me to write more because it's right at the it's right at the front and I also keep all the letters in here right by the stationery and that's important because when you're paying your taxes or bills or things like that you want to have that area very easy to access so doesn't it make sense if you keep it right in the front it's going to really change everything with the labels I've labeled them here with ink I use a lot of different color inks well not a lot I use, I use about three different inks when I'm writing on my stationery blue, orange, and pink. And so that allows me to write these without having a label maker and it still looks nice and sharp because ink is a very, it's very sharp unlike colored pencils. Although I like colored pencils, it's a little bit blurry. So if you want to look, if you want it to look sharp, then you can just use your ink for that. And over here I have all of my tool paper, every single bit of tool paper if you guys have been following this channel, you know I really recommend this tool notebook because it has changed everything for me and I primarily use it now to journal so I keep it by my bedside. But this tool notebook is amazing because you can you can customize it. So as you outgrow pages or as you wanna scan pages in, in your little brick scanner, you can go ahead and take pages out and move them around. So all of your extra tool pages, I just keep it in here, easy to grab. 
They have blank pages as well, so you can go ahead and illustrate and stuff like that. So you can really have fun with it. So the next one is random, which is basically all of the toll pages that are random that I need to scan, I need to sort through. If you have little bits of paper flying around that isn't necessary, you know, it's not a receipt or something like that, then I just throw it in there and then I sort through it. And then clippings or any magazine clippings that I want to scan in, I put them in there. And some of them, if I really like that magazine clipping, I'll keep it in there for a long, long time, even after I've scanned it in. In this folder, I just keep all of my important documents like my car information, my car deed, birth certificate and social security card anything very very important and the very next thing is tax information that's self-explanatory but i don't keep anything other than the things with my social security card because the irs allows you to scan everything in this 21st century the beauty of everything is that you don't have to have hard copies of everything it really slims down your life and it allows you to have such peace of mind when i see that all my paper is in this one container that makes me so happy now previously i had very little stack of paper but it was so unorganized so it was very it was very hard to sort through everything and now just having this one one container and everything's good to go so the next thing is magazines i buy about three to four magazines a year usually on mindfulness i almost always if i see you know the time mindfulness magazine and this one's the mindfulness journal i just i just can't pass up a tip i can't pass up a tip on mindfulness meditation health then you know I'm there. But that's what, you guys don't have to go through all that because I'm boiling it all down here for you guys when I find a really good tip. <laughs> and then I also, organization, that's just my guilty pleasure. Since I buy magazines, you know, a couple times a year, I'll keep them in here because, you know, they are about $13 or so, $15 for those magazines. But that to me is just extra reading. It just really stands out to me. I just like keeping abreast. And then the very last, the very last thing is my printer paper. I keep all my printer paper here and you might be thinking, but it's going to fall over. Aha. It is going to fall over, but it's not with my watercolor. I have two watercolor sheets of paper in here. That's nice and thick and it holds it in place. So all of my printer paper is there with my watercolor paper there. So my artwork, my stationery, my printer paper, my magazines and magazine clippings, all right here. The only other paper that I have in the entire house is my toll notebook, which I keep by my desk, and then my Emily Lay planner, which is absolutely beautiful and it helps me to stay on track. It's my to-do list, it's my inspiration. If there's a word that pops into my mind or a phrase that pops into my mind, something that I'm grabbing a hold of and following my intuition, this is basically the visual representation of my inspiration or my intuition as it's coming through throughout the day. I'll be writing my to-dos and stuff like that there, so I'm staying on track. And the last bit of paper is in the pantry next to my key station. I have have all my receipts that I could possibly return something. And th that's the last uh, category I, I just wanna mention that you barely need to keep any receipts at the container store, throw out all the receipts. I can return everything without a receipt now. I have books and some hard copies and most of it is on Kindle. Less than $30 and all your paper is organized until the end of time. I can easily fit more folders in here. So I hope you guys liked this video. I was really excited about this because getting the house together and living a really full and vibrant life, that makes me so excited. It makes me so happy. It is what I imagined the 30s to be. Now I'm not 30. I'm not 30, but it's what I imagined this life to be, is to be organized and to be thriving. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did give it an upvote, find me on Instagram and definitely subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Since it's Mother's Day, we're having a 20 second special. So I got this candle, which I really like because you can fill it with, you know, sand, glass, you know, coral, whatever you want in there. But it, it's a play on words. It says seamer instead of summer. It says seamer. Get it? Seamer because it smells like the ocean. <laughs> I'm probably the only person who thinks that's funny. But one of the things I really like about this candle is as soon as it goes out, I'm going to refill it because I have a candle video. And